Welcome you guys, this is Z Tutorials and today I'm showing you how to make a custom desktop background something like this here obviously better I made this quick for just just to show you what you can do quickly in Photoshop now you need brushes for this if you don't have any brushes by the way brushes are this white line here and this black line all this designing if you don't have brushes you need to download them you can download them easily off of brusheasy.com link is in the description this is what I downloaded here it's called room 122 sidewalk series volume 1 just download any one you want that one will be in the description anyway and basically what you do is you just save it to a brushes folder on your desktop and then you go into Photoshop and you just load them up so I'll show you that in a minute so first things first open up Photoshop and create a new document call it whatever you want uh, anything it doesn't really matter and then call put the width as your resolution and the height as your resolution if you don't know how to get your screen resolution just go to your control panel right here and under appearance and personalization go to adjust screen resolution and right here under resolution it will show you your screen resolution now make sure it's set to the highest it can be mine's 1366 by 768 and just put that in there as you can see 1366 by 768 very easy very simple click ok make sure your resolution is at 4000 by the way I think that's the highest it goes but you won't need any more anyway now we're going to start off and you'll just get a background so what you want to do is you want to go into gradient 2 and you're going to click on this box here and it's going to open up this thing you're going to edit this to whatever colors you want it doesn't really matter a whole pile um, just have it going from light to dark is what I'd recommend light to dark and easy as that lighter to darker to darker to black that's what mine's going to look like and then you're going to click you can either click and drag this way straight down the screen and it'll create that click and drag this way click and drag any way you want I'm going to click from the top left to the bottom right as you can see it's going to create a nice little fading color all the way down there until it eventually goes into black now this is where your brushes come in you're going to select a new layer I'm going to call it whatever you want just leave it at layer one if you want and then you're just going to go into your brushes tool this is your brushes tool here and right here where it says brushes here are all your brushes now I have a good few good load of brushes you probably want the one you just downloaded if you did download one go into that little icon there go into uh, not reset god no not reset go into load brushes and just wherever you saved it go into it and open it up mine's already loaded so I don't need to do that then you just select the brush you want very easy very simple whatever brush you want you pick and you just click it there mine is white and I purposely set mine to white so that it'll look like that and we're going to just put a couple layers on it uh, maybe another layer here so that this one will be black as you can see here I like this one we're going to put this one in um, it's going to be white so we're going to undo that and we're going to go into right click blending options and right where it says uh, gradient overlay, just click on black that's an easy fix for it if it's not a black and just click it like that and basically it's just going to bring it back down to black now I want a few more white in there uh, maybe you want another different one in there again white there and white there now that's enough for me I'm going to go into the text the T for text and I'm going to click here and you're going to put whatever you want I'm going to put my YouTube name tutorials now yours will be set as a default text um, if you want to get a custom one you can download them too mine's set to AR Darling you can change them around to whatever you want I just like AR Darling so I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to make this gradient now what, how you do that is you just right click on the layer that it is you go into blending options gradient overlay and once again here we go double click so we're going to make go from black to maybe check out a couple of colors mix around with it I think it's best to just mess around 
because then you learn maybe the red red looks good there and just click OK now right where it says stroke you can put in a stroke there if you want in this case it might look better not to have a stroke maybe a one point stroke like so leave it at one point maybe pattern overlay not really think texture very important i think texture is very 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 important it makes it just the whole thing blending together nicely uh put in an inner glow put it to whatever you want i like it set to kind of a goldy color yellowy goldy color click ok on that uh have a drop shadow if you want and just click ok now in my opinion that's a very very good uh layer right there that's a very good background now maybe you want to drag this one in front so that the white will go in front of it personally i don't want to uh we can create a new layer and put it in front of that and just put one or two white ones just to make it look a bit better so we'll go back onto our brush icon down here click on that there and one brush there so that's in white so we're going to have to go back here and click right click blending options gradient overlay now if you get really fancy you can put your own blending colors on this like going from white to black uh, etc I'm just going to put mine white to blue there just to show you okay and as you can see it's kind of fading off to a blue and it looks quite well I think and then we're just going to save that and we're going to call it wallpaper 789 whatever you want save them all into one folder click ok click ok and minimize photoshop so right here now this is what we had we're going to open up our folders and we're going to set that desktop background as a desktop background and as you can see it looks quite good there in my opinion i think that looks quite well so what you're going to do then is you're going to go into layer you're going to right click you're going to go into layer up here actually and you're going to go into merge layers now i already did it by an accident there uh, you just click merge layers and you'll get this layer here you'll get one of these layers you right click and you go into blending options if a pop-up comes up just click ok on that and try it again blending options and you go to inner glow and right here where it says blend mode you're going to go into normal then on size you're going to make this up and as you can see on the screen on our preview the black is going to come in towards the screen it just makes it look much better much more professional uh, choke put that whatever you want uh, just make sure that it, it'll look good it just makes it look much better click OK <clears throat> and as you can see this is what it looked like earlier this is what it looked like earlier and when we save that now control S and open it up now in banners here we go set as desktop background and as you can see it just gives it a much more professional look looks much much better and that is a very very nice background there so that's all that we have time for today guys check out my other videos i have loads of videos coming out i have a whole lot recorded just need to edit them so uh talk to you soon subscribe if it helped and leave a comment if you have any questions by Z Tutorials.